Well, hello all, and welcome to this. And this is, of course, a um, well, of course, but this is a response to Pin Gillette's video on his Pin Says account about uh, overpaying your taxes. Now, I have to take a second for the people who don't know and are just clicking on this because it was video response to Pin's video. Bear with me just a second. I have to do this. Um, this is an old account that I had that I had once eons ago I was able to reopen it I've not done anything with it but on the original account um, I talked about pro wrestling yes I talked about pro wrestling it's kind of odd the first video I've done after reopening it is to Pin Gillette who talks about uh, carnivals carnies magic sideshows freak shows all of those things all of those things pro wrestling is and yes I'm 34 and I talk about pro wrestling on YouTube you don't like it, sorry. You think I'm weird for it, sorry. That's just the way it is. Um, however, there are still apparently 600 and something people still that are subscribed to this account, even though it's been closed for over a year. And if you are getting on here and you're thinking you're going to talk about, I'm talking about um, pro wrestling, then you need to turn the video off because that's not what it's about. It's going to be about world affairs and taxes and those sort of things. Now that that's over, let's start with what this is actually about. Um, so if Robbie or some, or whoever from Sony can just pass the talking points um, about this video because this is not going to fit in a little 500 you know character section on YouTube, and um, I'm not really big of a of a letter writer. So um, to get started, uh, he asked this question about are you willing to overpay your taxes? I'm not because I think we are taxed too much as it is. But um, and he talked about people who say that particularly the rich, don't pay enough taxes, um, are you willing to pay more in taxes? And from what I understand, you can't pay more in taxes, the federal government will either send you money back or something. But from what I understand, it could be completely wrong, that if I am I'm completely wrong. But I do believe you don't have to take all of the deductions. And I have often, even when I was probably 12, I often wondered when people griped about the rich paying more money, that well, do you take every single deduction that you have? And of course, whenever I've asked, because I've asked this exact question, this is what I love about Pendulette, because he he thinks along the same lines I do. I don't agree with everything he does, which is good, because I'm not someone who loves following people. But I do agree with a lot of things he says, and um, he often brings uh, at least new insight to things, even when I don't agree with him. So that's always good and always a wonderful thing to have. But um, I have, you know, I've asked my own friends these questions before over the years, and um, you know, I've gotten some pretty surprising answers when, when I've gotten that. And the, the answer that I usually get that I consider a cop-out answer is, well, if the federal government did what I wanted it to do, I'd be willing to pay more taxes. And to me, that's a cop-out because you can always point to something that the federal government's doing that you don't want to support. And so, to me, that's a cop-out answer. But to me, a more important question that I always ask my friends about this when they talk about the rich paying more is, how much should they pay? What's the percentage? Now, we can get into the whole argument on what we actually pay in taxes with, you know, hidden taxes and all of that and, the, you know, gas tax and tobacco taxes and sales taxes and what people actually pay in taxes. But um, let's just keep it simple. Let's just say, what do you think the top one percent or forever or whatever you think the rich is in this country wherever, wherever you find that number to be what do you think is the maximum they should have to pay in taxes is it 50 percent is it 60 percent is it 40 percent is it 45 percent is it 30 percent is it 20 percent is it 10 percent what, what what do you think is the fair um would be fair if, if we're going to ask them to hold a, to, to pay more than the rest of us what is the percentage they should pay? And the follow-up question to that would be, who do you consider should be paying that? Where, where do you start? Do you start at 250000 Do you start at 100000 Do you start at a million? Do you start at $2 million? Um, Do you start at, you know, what, what number do you start at to where you start drastically increasing what, or not even drastically, you just, you know, you start increasing that to where you think people should be paying more of a toe on the tax burden in the United States. I think that's a fair, I think that's a much more important question because often when I ask that question of people that bring bring up this comment, it completely and utterly surprises me. So, um, if that 
can be relayed back to Penn. I would greatly appreciate it to Robbie or whoever from Sony. And other than that, that was just a quick little thing. And for those people who actually see this video, please feel free to comment. Um, I might comment back. I'm usually pretty good about that. But uh, we'll see. As I said, this is kind of a backup account, so I'm not sure how often I'm going to be on it. But anyways, um, thank you much. I'm out. Later.